uh, had a blowout, guys. Had a blowout, no pothole nowhere, just a boom. You are now tuned into Fly Roy, the trend setter. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. back with another video y'all see us today we are up ready to get to it and uh don't forget guys you are a master of your abilities so we're gonna get to it y'all make sure y'all like share subscribe peace oh man so today you know so we working on the, so we uh checking the vote this week guys i mean you guys got one of them old school vote meters Got you an old school vote meter. We're going to check the voltage. Uh, we are going to get a little, uh, I'm going to say a donor uh, donation package going on for us. Hopefully we can get a battery. We're going to take us some aluminum that we have over there in our, oh, that's bright, huh? That's really bright over there. Well, we got some, wow, outside is really bright. Let's see if we go outside with it up. Wow, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to have to fix that, guys. Hold on one second. That's too bright. There it goes. All right. Fixed it for you guys. So, we're going to take some aluminum from over there. I have some over there. And possibly a little pieces over there. And we're going to get us a little fun going to get us a battery. So, we're going to go get us a 6-volt battery. Because the car, I don't plan on, like, driving it moving anywhere. We just want to see if it runs. So, why not? Uh, you know, take a little metal or something, turn it in, and get it in. Yes, yeah, sir. But I wanted to talk to you guys about uh about this here. I think this is these cars. Uh, this is a 1949 Packard, and it has guys. It got some accessories on here that you know in '49. I didn't, I didn't know they had stuff like this. So you guys see they got push button. Everything is push button. Push button for the headlights. There was another guy who was asking me. He said he removed his radio, which I didn't know that this was the actual radio. I thought the radio was just here. But this whole thing is the radio. And I guess this is the speaker inside. And below it, guys, everything controls just like a newer car. So you got your blower for your heat. You got your uh, clutch, which we got to figure out what that means clutch for what what are we clutching then we got the um your map light we got your fog lights so this guy this thing got fog lights we're gonna find out where the fog lights is and what is this uh interior light headlights cigarette lighter wow that's crazy guys then you got your knob for your for your radio the crazy part is it got speakers speakers down there on the kick panel guys we got speakers out there on the kick panels uh, you see it is three in the cherry. You know what I mean? But, man. So today when we get the battery, we're going to find out what a lot of these things are in here. This is crazy, guys. You see that over there? That might be like a... Oh, it's a switch for something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this crazy. Yeah, so there's some knobs up here. We're going we gonna to get them knobs. Uh, We're going we gonna to see what all this stuff do. And y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Because, like I said, we're going on a little uh, junkyard run, which I haven't did in some years. It used to be kind of fun and exciting. How many of y'all uh, do any scrapping or anything like that? Know your metals, know how to split the metals, and uh, uh, and really get, you know what I'm saying, pay top dollar for your metal, whatever you have. Because a lot of people think, you know, scrap is scrap and it goes in one pile. Actually, it doesn't. The scrap goes in uh, enormous of piles. You know what I'm saying? Everything splits up. And uh, uh, if you know the difference between that, you can make real good, decent money on uh, scrapping, scrapping metals. So, also, also, guys, another thing I'm getting ready to get into. So, we got the battery situation and we got a seat out. So, today, 
Today, guys, yeah, you see that? Yes, yeah, sir. A lot of people be asking me why I got these seats out of. Y'all tap some in the comments if you know what this seat came out, uh, out of, which car, what kind of car. This is actually a factory seat out of a certain vehicle. And it goes, it goes in the El Camino. So right now, guys, I am, I got the dog in the house. And uh, I really want to take both dogs, but I'm not for the deal with the, uh, with the two dogs. And plus, uh, I don't want to take up two spots inside the uh, doggy bath. So. That's another thing we're going to do is I took the seat out to put the big dog inside the El Camino because she's not going to fit no other way. I do not ride with my dogs in the back of the bed. I do not do that. Um, so, oh, yeah, got a little bit of dirt. That's some old dirt right there, guys. See that old dirt? So, uh, that's what I'm going to do is we're going to put the dog in the car, take it to the doggy wash. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. See what your boy feel to get into uh, uh, on our little adventure today. And, man, hopefully today, man, we'll see if this thing going to crank up, see if it fire up, see if we can find a battery. This actually, I think, is a good battery because I was using my charger, and I guess something happened. It shorted out, but it did have interior lights once I got it to charge up for so long. So we're going to uh, see what to do. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, drop something in the comments. And we also got to figure this out here. Got to figure this out. Something's uh, something's leaking on the car, too. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Let's see what we have here. Say something, my man. Hold the mic. Say something, mama. Say something, mama. So, anyway, we're going to get on to our destination. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and y'all stay tuned. And I also got some information to show y'all how to ride home uh, uh, when you catch a flat. You know what I'm saying? How to make it home without calling the tow truck and waiting hours for them to pull up. You know what I'm saying? AAA, whoever. But uh, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, and let's get it. So we done made it to our location. We done made it to our location. Come on. Damn. Out. Out. Come on, you know you could go take a bath. Come on. Come on. Out. Y'all see where we at? Y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. All right, guys, we back. Let me get her inside here. She does not like this at all. Come on, up, up. Okay, you did a little better than last time. All right. She know what's going on, y'all. Let's lock this up. Lock it. Yeah, Take this off.
They always show us some good uh, hospitality over here. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, what do you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're in the building. The one seater. Yeah, we got a one seater right now. We got a one seater. We got a one seater. Oh, yeah, she's nice and clean now. Yeah, let's get to it. 
Y'all won't believe what your boy done did. I done drove all the way to the doggy wash place where they have what I was looking for. I went over there, was actually looking at him, picked him up, and told myself, oh, I'm going to get it on the way out. Didn't happen, guys. Forgot. <laughs> Forgot to get it. So, but I do know they do have the batteries there. I do know where to get them at. And um, I, I guess I'm just not uh, uh, highly uh, motivated or whatever to fire it up because it's going to still sit here. I'm not going to drive it anywhere. It's going to sit right here in the garage. But it will be nice just to have it to fire up. Because I'm probably going to end up taking it out. Because you cannot push this car, guys. It's something that you do not want to push. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe, man. And tell me what y'all think about all these push buttons uh, on the radio. And also, oh, 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 yeah, I got some sad news, guys. So, Sunday, dropping the babies off. Uh, Had a blowout, guys. Had a blowout, no pothole nowhere, just a boom, blowout. So I noticed uh, uh, right away that, you know, I could feel the tire losing pressure. So I'm going to tell you guys this. I know how long it takes for AAA to come. I also know how long it takes for your buddy to come that's towing cars. I also know how long it takes for somebody to even answer the phone and, uh, you know what I'm saying, come say the day for you. So what I did was, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of, that when you... When you drive your vehicle, or when it's warm outside, your tire pressure, your air in your tire heats up. When it's cold outside, it takes a little bit longer for your tire pressure to heat up. So guys, I end up giving it a little bit more gas, not speeding, but I drove it a little bit faster just so I was able to make it where I was going and I ended up making it home. So what that did was, it still gave me tire pressure now maybe i got lucky guys i don't know y'all drop something in the comments and let me know you know what i'm saying has that ever happened to you or you just you know you kept driving on the tire but not driving slowly on the tire but kind of like uh, uh the, the speed limit on the tire on the flat so i did that i did not damage my rim and i'm going to show you guys that and, and everything uh stay tuned let's check it out all right y'all see it you see that big blowout big blowout guys but you do not see any see that looks like damage right but it's not uh no damage on the wheel no damage on the wheel gotta see what i'm gonna do because Last time I had a flat, I did not, <laughs> I did not do something very important, guys. I did not put a tire on the fifth wheel. So now, I, you see this is a brand new tire too, guys. Brand new tire. Brand new tire. Brand new tire. Big blowout, <laughs> but we're going to somehow figure out what I'm going to do, put a tire on there, and y'all already know I don't drive the truck that much, just drive it to go get the babies, but I do need to put a tire on it, because we do not have any stock wheels, never had no stock wheels, so, so that's what we're going to do, y'all stay tuned, tell me what y'all think about the Packer, man, I don't know if I had to back up for you guys, kind of open up like that, you know what I'm saying? I did. I did also on the front part here, from here down, I put some stunning butter on here just to see what it would do to the enamel. And when I mean it's like slippery, you know how older people, old cars like this, you'll get somebody that'll sit right here. Oh, they sit up here, they're gonna slide off. You're definitely gonna slide off. But let's get to it. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, Y'all see the meter, we didn't get a chance to put it on there yet because we have no battery voltage. But we will put the meter on there. Y'all stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, let's get it.